How do I update the software on my Spark Science Learning System? In the About screen of MySpark, I've noticed that my version is 1.3, and I know there's a newer version available, so I'd like to update this Spark. In preparation, I've already transferred off of this Spark all of the files that I'd like to preserve, and I've connected it to wall power to ensure the Spark has power during this upgrade operation. I've gone to pasco.com slash downloads and downloaded an appropriate Spark update file to my computer. When you get to that site, you'll notice that there are a number of update files available. Some of them include labs in English or in Spanish, and another update is simply the firmware update for the device. I've transferred that update file to a flash drive. So next up, I'm going to turn off the power of my Spark by pressing and holding the power button on the bottom of the unit. And with the Spark off, I'm going to attach the flash drive with my, the update to the top of the unit. All right. Now, since that flash drive has the update on it, I'm going to turn the Spark on, and it's going to search that flash drive for the update. So I'll be looking for some update messages at the bottom of this boot screen. may take a moment as it mounts the flash drive. All right, it's attaching the flash drive and it's unpacking the update. It's going to go through a number of progress bars. Um, for the sake of brevity, I'm going to pause this video and come back toward the end of this unpacking uh, process. All right. We're back after about uh, four minutes, and I've been monitoring these status messages here. It's told me that it's been extracting resources and installing the Spark app, installing drivers, installing the kernel. And I'm looking for a message here that will instruct me to remove the USB flash drive. There it is. So I'll go ahead and remove the USB flash drive from the top of the Spark. And we'll wait for a reboot. It says it's rebooting. All right, and it's going to take a moment to reboot, and when it comes back, it should be updated. We'll take a look at that in a moment. Um, so it did take about five minutes for all the unpacking and installing. It may take longer if you've downloaded the update, which includes Spark Labs, but the process should be similar. While I'm waiting for that to reboot, uh, let me note that this update process um, works well for more recent versions of Spark if you're making not a very big jump in firmware from something like version 1.2.3 or later to the latest version 1.4. This process works nicely. If you are, have an, a very old Spark unit that has an earlier version of the software, you may not be able to make the jump directly to version 1.4. Instead, I'd suggest that you might do an intermediate update, and if you'd like more information on that, please go to pasco.com and search for TechNote 1134, and that will guide you through the process of making, a, making an intermediate jump before you jump to the latest version. So let's look back at the Spark. It says it's starting up, and as we expect, um, with a new software update, the screen calibration comes up, so I'm going to carefully tap on these calibration points. I will press OK, and just to check that the update was successful, I'll go to About Spark, and I can see that it, the update has been successful. I'm now running the latest version.